Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the new safe file. We are jumping in again and we are gonna... Mm, I don't know who we're gonna go as here. Um, oh, we've got so many characters done nowadays. This is kind of crazy. We're, we're, we're reaching the end game, boys. We have like a few characters that are still pretty rough in terms of what we've done. Um, but those are characters like um, like this one, which is just, yeah, not, not a great one to play. But I think we'll play as... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to do Tainted Forgotten Delirium. Oh god, we've only got Delirium left as this guy. That's kind of a rough one to go for. But I guess we'll do it. Why not? Why not? Delirium, it's 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 a tricky beast, but it's a fun one. Um, boom, get smacked. Good, good. Uh, wow, that was a whole lot of nothing. I mean, it was free, so I can't complain too much, but it was still a whole lot of nothing. Also, Community Remix got EID descriptions. Apparently, they are still rough around the edges because it's the first version of it, but it finally has them. We can actually use the cards now and it not be a complete mystery to us what everything does. Oh, God. God damn. Mother's Spine. Pretty nice. Is that attached to... Okay, good, it is. Nice. That's actually really good. It's attached to him. Um, I always forget, like... But yeah, as you can see, Mother's Spine absolutely amazing. Uh, it will just poison anything that, that looks at it funny. Um, and we really like that. That was a really stupid hit there. My goodness. That was a really stupid hit there. We'll also blow up barrels, I'm pretty sure. So we've got to be, yeah, we've got to be pretty careful about that. Uh, it'll do some gnarly stuff to us if we're not paying attention. Dude, it's so good though. Early game when enemies have low HP, it's just amazing. And it works really, really well with the, the throne burn magoon. We like it. We love it. Also, it's 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 pretty thematic for um for the forgotten to the potentially forgotten to be honest, having uh having this little oh what the hell <laughs> I didn't know that could happen. It ate um it ate my burn boy. Get out of here, you! You're being a rap scallion right now. There you go. Matchbook obviously not very good, but it does give us a trinket and a few bombs, which is not bad. We'll uh, potentially find secret room. I'm not exactly sure where it is as of right now. Hmm. Secret room, secret room. Where art thou? I mean, we've got five bombs. We should at least check for, for it in a few places. There you go. Or we'll use one bomb and be done. Uh, unfortunately, bit of a bit of a whiff on that one there. It is what it is. Secret room. Probably here. There you go, baby. There you go. And we get ourselves the spirit of... Oh, God, no. The little spiders. No. Mother spine, thank you. Um, what does this do? Traps all enemies in the room in vines for 12 seconds. Trapped enemies drop through... I didn't get to read the rest of that there. Uh, trapped enemies drop through um, hearts on death. Fruit hearts heal half a red heart, half a soul heart if hearts are full. That seems really good. In fact, it would have been incredibly useful in that room right there had I have noticed what it did earlier. Ooh, a double tinted rock. It's rare that we see these bad boys. Unfortunately, that was like one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Where's my small rock? Anyways, we're going delirium. We are traveling down. I got my cup of juice. Oh. As for the question of the day to day, um... What's a, what's a fantasy world or like a game world that you would genuinely love to like live in or visit? I think, I feel like that's a, a pretty interesting one that could be, could be pretty varied. Cause I mean like there's some worlds that are like so interesting, but just so deadly. Like the world of Elden Ring is like so pretty and interesting, but goddamn, is it like the most dangerous place ever? A lot of interesting stuff there. Oh wait, this is... Oh wait, I see, I see. This this doesn't work the way I thought it would. Oh, fuck off, Fly! You wasted- Ugh, I can't believe that. You wasted everything that I gained. You harlot. It didn't work the way I thought it would. I didn't realise the fruits would disappear. I wasn't ready. Rubber bullets is good if it works, but I don't know if it does. It definitely makes us look pretty fucked up. I'll, I'll say that for sure. It makes us look pretty messed up. But yeah, like the world of Elden Ring. Oh my god, it's so pretty and beautiful with the- Earth tree and stuff, but goddamn, is it the most deadly place you could ever go? <laughs> it's just not safe in the slightest. You you could not you could not go there um, and <laughs> and live as a as a mere human. You would be dead in in seconds.
But yeah, that would be that would be pretty pretty amazing to, to just look at and view. What the hell happened to his tears then? Uh, oh, that, I don't know. Azura's spin down could be kind of good to be honest. Oh wait, I see us. That was some horse poo poo, right there with that troll bomb. Come on now. Um, I I, I definitely want to buy this. I would like to buy Greg the egg as well. Um, we'll, we'll we'll bomb our donation machine and buy Greg the egg. One day I'll fill this bad boy. One day I'll fill it. Greg the egg. He's too cute to not take. Oh, I didn't want to buy the key. I just wanted the goddamn penny. It's fine. We got gift card now. Um, gift card will save for a like active item we don't want, or just an item we don't want in general. Secret rooms here. No, it's not. Damn it. So far, I've not seen rubber bullets do anything yet. So I'm. Airing on the side if it doesn't work. Arthur, I'm, I'm taking some really ugly damage right now, and it's 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 quite upsetting. It's quite upsetting. Ooh, Gregor, do be pooting out some stuff. Thank you, my little ladder. Get out of here. We get the slowing effect there, that's kind of nice. Slowing on the B is, is good. You're not even hitting him anymore. Darn you. Oh! Mm. I need to stop with my bullshit here. Also, I accidentally entered the de almost accidentally entered the devil deal there when I did not want to. Okay, okay. I, I gotta say, so far this run is is a bit poo poo stinky. Getting, I mean, the the mother spine is still real good, but getting um a bad super tinted rock thing, get then on top of that getting um hit a bunch after using that vine thing that was really cool, then getting um Greg, why would you bomb yourself like this? Then getting rubber bullets that doesn't seem to work. Then getting a tinted rock that gives us two king keys. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Enough complaining. Back to back to enjoying life. Why? Uh, but anyways, we got Greg the egg. All you need is Greg, Greg, Greg. Oh, um, I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate recently, as I've probably mentioned multiple times on this series and any other that you're watching on my channel at the moment. I'm addicted to that game right now. Um, but one thing that I've been doing is I've been playing um, with mods, and a lot of the mods basically just reinstate a lot of stuff in D&D 5th edition that isn't in the game, like subclasses for the different classes, items, spells, stuff like that. And, oh my god, there's just some really fun ones. Oh, he's literally trapped behind there. I didn't know he could do that. Um... Yeah, my god, there's some there's some really, really fun ones. Like, uh, also something that I've, like, I, I, I knew you could do it, but something that I'd never really mess around with is in uh, in D&D um, and in uh, Baldur's Gate, you can multi-class, so you can, like, add two classes to one character, and, like, you have to level them up separately, so it means that if you're level six, you can go level three on one, level three on the other, or level two on one, or four on the other, which means that the general power of each individual class is lessened, but, um... You're able to gain abilities from from both classes, and that can lead to some interesting results. And I've been messing around with multi-classing, and I've created some really cool stuff with some of the modded subclasses. That's really goddamn fun, and it's making me significantly regret the decisions that I've currently made in my actual D and D campaign that I'm playing. I'm like, goddamn, why didn't I, uh, why didn't I decide to play these classes? Like Gale, the the wizard. I've multi-classed him with uh, with Druid because I've get I, I've got um. A fire wizard, um, a fire wizard subclass for the wizard, um, because I was going like all fire spells, and I was like, I wonder if there's a subclass that's specifically around fire spells, and there is, and the mod, there's a mod that adds it. Um, ooh, that's very, very nice. Soul heart every floor. Um, yes, I was like, hmm, I wonder, and then I checked, and there is a, there is one that, um, that adds fi like a fire wizard. I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, but then um, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool, but like, I wonder if I can enhance this anyway with any other classes. And then there's also like a fire version of the druid. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now, but you can use your wild form instead of transforming into a bear or whatnot to, to basically summon a fire creature. Um, and I've, I've just created this absolute fucking beast of a fire wizard that's got like, 
He can spawn this fire creature, um, and then he can use one of his spells to to sacrifice the fire creature into a large explosion. And every time he hits someone with fire, they burn. And then when they burn, he gains more fire damage. And when they burn, they get frightened. And it's just oh my god, it's it's it just it's so awesome. <laughs> People that don't like D&D or don't like Baldur's Gate are probably sitting here like, please shut the fuck up. Uh, oh, Cracklin Slag, it's been, it's been a while, my friend. It's been a while. I love this item. I love this item. It's top-notch. My god, our chests have not been top-notch thus far, though. I mean, to be fair, Crackling Slag is top-notch if it works, which we are yet to see if it does. And I'm going to be really disappointed if it doesn't. Come on, Mini Isaacs. Yes, you can do it. Oh, well, I don't know why Mini Isaacs aren't swinging. Normally they swing, don't they? It's the Forgotten. Or maybe that's only normal Forgotten. So far, it's looking like it doesn't work at all, which is um, a real, a real big sad. I don't know why that would be. Why didn't like so many tier effects trigger on on their on burn hits? It must be that the actual coder of the item, the the mod creator, didn't account for the Forgotten or something. Because there's a bunch of items. And modded items that do work as the Forgotten, but Rubber Bullets doesn't work, and um, Molten Slag doesn't work. So we've got two very, very good and unique items that currently do specifically exactly nothing, which is uh, just like the largest of shames. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm unbelievably peeved about this. I mean, one thing we could do is try and find an item that... Um, that lets us fire in some way or another, like Fate's Reward or something, that could potentially give us the option to fire tears. And through that we can fire our tear effects, but we shouldn't have to. The game should just, should just, just do it. Um, but yeah, so like, I've been, I've been doing all this multi-class stuff. I, I've been, I, I multi-classed my Asterion, the Rogue, with, um, with a ranger as well, because I was only using him with the bow and arrow anyways. So I um I multiclassed him with like I think it's called like Ranger of the Swarm or something, and basically you're like constantly covered by a swarm of angry flies and you can like get them to attack things for you and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um but yeah, it's it's making me regret like my choices in my actual D D session. I'm playing a celestial warlock in my actual D D, which I'm I'm enjoying, it's fun. And he does have some some unique abilities later down the line, and obviously he's a healer, which is just genuinely very useful. Um, bombs spawn once three coins when they explode. That's pretty useful. We'll go for that. Um, but like now I'm like, oh, how how I would love to play this fire wizard in my actual like real life D and D campaign. It would be so fun. Like just setting everything ablaze. It would just be oh, too good. It's a shame. I mean, like, some, some Dungeon Masters will let you change class, and maybe later down the line I can, but it... The thing is, like, if I was any other class, it would be kind of more okay, but because I'm a Warlock, Warlocks have pacts with gods, and that means my Dungeon Master has probably written some sort of storyline for my for my uh, chosen god, and what they end up doing if I don't... Um, if I don't follow their, their orders, and so I can't really just mess that up. We got the pizza, which is kind of good, although that could give us some 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 shit. Still don't know where I'm gonna use gift cards yet. I've not really thought about that. Um entering an unclear dream with 50% chance to spawn one friendly um swarm spider. What's a swarm spider? We'll find out in good time. Swarm spider. Is the swarm spider the little tiny dudes? Because if it, if it is, that's probably not that worthwhile. Give me that bomb. Get me in here. See, this is where we use gift cards. Like, it's just... That item is not good. Um, we'll obviously pick up the present and... Uh, we shall find our secret room this floor. We've got three bombs, so we should be okay to find it somewhere. But no swarm spider as of yet. 50-50 chance has uh, been... Unfortunately not happened twice now. Dude, those... Those mushrooms, man. Hey, there you go. Yeah, that is just... Just nearly, nearly worthless. <laughs> that 
That is just so bad. <laughs> I don't know how much damage they do as friendlies, but yeah, not enough. It just killed itself on that enemy there. Like this is, it's cute, it's cute and all, but it's it's just not very useful, not very practical. If it was a hundred percent chance, then it'd be a bit more okay. Lost contact. Nice. I'm, I'm not gonna take. Uh, I'm not gonna grab those those uh, chests yet because I want to grab the other trinket that gives us money for exploding bombs. I, I used a bomb to open that trink uh, that secret room and then was like, oh wait. Also, what the fuck is going on? There's like a trinket in like every room over here. What happened? There's like four trinkets in a row there. Unfortunately, not much there going on. Come on, little spider babski. Yeah, G gaining a bit of money each time we plant a bomb seems useful. Ooh, tiny planet. Soul of Bethany. Gimme, gimme. Tiny planet's good because it gives us range. Um, I don't think it does much other than that for us. But it does give us a hell of a lot of range. Okay, your balls are wild now. Look at that range, baby. Look at that range. Beautiful. The stone, and we do get ourselves our thingy, which Guardian Angel's actually okay too. Like, not bad. Um, and I think we just carry on down. I don't think we've really got a delirium run in the works right now, but we'll see. The tides could turn, you never know. Bombs will drop more often. Okay, definitely want to take that. Considering there's two things that are bombable in this room here. I know I don't need to push them close together right now, but I'm doing it anyways. Why not? I'm just going to do it. What the hell? Where did you go? You sneaky bitch. Poison's not going to kill you, really. Okay, there you go, it did. Hey, Paying out already. Not bad. Money's looking real good right now. And the stunning's pretty nice, too. At least the stunning works. This is what I mean, like, the, stun the stunning works. Molten Slag, why do you betray me? You are a Molten Slag. Is slag like a term in in other in like America? Oh, I, I'm pretty sure it is, right? Slag in the UK means like like a uh prostitute. I wouldn't say prostitute. It means like I don't know. I mean, it kind it kind of it's it's like it's like slut, but it means like like a not nice slut. <laughs> Um, red candle? I don't know, red candle? I just don't find myself, like, it, it, it's good, but I just don't see myself using it all that much. It, it's, a, it's a very good item, actually, but I just think with this character, it's not going to be something that I make the most of. And therefore, I feel it's not really worth buying. Oh, dude, the bombs. This, this card, getting it that early on was beautiful. Like, every other room is dropping us a bomb, along with its regular room drop, like... Um, secret room here, maybe? Midas Touch would be fantastic. You bastards. <laughs> How dare you? I've right, still not found item room yet, so let's make sure we go and find that. Yeah, Midas Touch would have been super, super good here, so... Bit of a shame to miss out on that. Half soul heart from him. Why haven't you not jumped yet? There you go. You did eventually. I love throwing this guy just to get through rooms quicker. It's so satisfying. I don't. I still don't get why people don't like this character. Or like, oh, he's not fun unless you have recall. It's like, mm. 
Your boy is basic. There's some, there's some situations in which it is a little unfortunate you don't have recall, like certain rooms, but for the most part, this guy's awesome. So strong. Right, item room. Big fan. Well, kind of weird. We've got the uh, we've got the familiar that slows everything down, uh, that, that speeds everything up when you when you have orbitals, and the one that slows everything down. So I think that yeah, they just move at their own paces. But it's actually not not a bad item for us because uh, orbitals are particularly good on this character. There's another thing I love about this character. It's kind of like Tainted Maggie in the way that it takes a bunch of items that you typically don't really care for and makes them so much better. Um, on hit effects um, for Maggie, on contact effects for this guy, and then um, orbitals. I mean, orbitals used to be the the, the hot shit. Like, people used to love orbitals back before Repentance. They were so strong. But Repentance kind of nerfed them into the ground when, when it reduced their tick rate. Not, not like, they're not useless, but before you used to actually actively use them for damage. Now it's like, sometimes you'll passively use them, but otherwise it's like, nah. Foul Goat, I don't think does really anything for us, but it gives us a burn heart or two. It's actually kind of a negative that it gave us burn hearts there, to be honest. Um, Yeah, we keep going down, I think. We're speeding through here. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not all that convinced on this run right now, I'll be honest. The um the delirium potential, at least for me, is not looking like it's there. See, all those burn hearts are gone already. I mean, it's fine, our health is still great. Do you see what I mean? Like, you just sweep the rooms as this guy. It's brilliant. Yeah, we played our last session of um, of D&D &D pretty recently. Um, like, last weekend. And, oh, it, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, we, uh, we've been, like, investigating this gang um, that, uh, that have been terrorizing the city and basically, like, kidnapping people. And we've been, we've been, like, trying to track them and figure out what's going on with them. And we ended up tracking them down to this bar. Um, and in the bar, there was a few ne'er-do-wells that we were sort of following and trying to figure out what they were doing. We walked into, like, a back, uh, like a back door into the back room and, um... What the hell? Oh. It's only a black heart. I don't really care. Um, Cactus, I'll take. Um, yeah, and we, we ended up, like, following them out of this back room and spying on them. We charmed one of them so that we could, uh, figure out, like, what he was doing, ask him what was going on. Um, and we watched them, like, like, club this old guy to death and then, um, and then, like, load him onto a cart with another few bodies and start hauling them off. And our, uh, the druid of our party took form of a rat and, uh, and followed along the cart to try and figure out what was going on. They're, they're, they're like, really anti-magic, but they're, they're, they're kind of hypocrites because we found out them they were using detect magic. Uh, spells as well as like they've got these like power gauntlet things that are basically like they're basically like um magic but but manual it's like it's, it's magic without using a spell so it's, it's kind of like yeah you're really anti-magic if you're just using a gauntlet to cast spells rather than rather than casting spells it's like eh, don't really think your, your message is holding up here you're very uh hypocritical the next session, we're probably going to get into some fights with them. We did already get into a fight right at the start. Really? Lemon mishap? I mean, why not take it? But, ugh. It better spawn underneath my, uh, my, my, my burn body rather than my body. Okay, it does good. Makes it a little bit better. Still not great. I mean, even for a bad item, the, the, the radius on it is ridiculously small. Uh, we've seen item room. We are good to go. Ooh. Ah, oh, really? Really? Greg the Egg, you're gonna crack and give me little Chad? Who told you I'd need this? Because I, I most certainly do not need this. Yeah, I, I really don't think Delirium's in the cards for us this run unless something amazing happens. Our damage is pretty pathetic. 
Like, obviously, because we're this character, we're able to kill things still, but, like, for bossing, it's pretty pathetic. Um, I'll take the negative for the damage boost. <sighs> a Thane is just very good. Moving... <sighs> it means contact damage and deals 25 damage. Is that as good as I think it is? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do boss rush here with this and see if it's... I've never actually used this with this character, but I think... Yeah, okay, it's very good. Because it counts as us moving when we're throwing him. And the contact damage is up, so... We deal quite a lot of extra damage. Like, look at that one-shot. The first phase of step in. Yeah, I like contact damage is more than I swings now by quite a bit. Ooh! A th okay. A theme triggers, um, triggers Molten Slag. We finally found a way to enable it. You see, it's like a ring of fire. And because we've got Tiny Planet, it moves in a ring pattern. That's, that's, that's really cool. That. It's like in conjunction with one another. Athame's doing some shit for us. Oh, it also applies for agility too. Okay, we have we have enabled stuff by picking up a theme here. This is this is uh this is really taking this run to the next level here. Oh, really? I tried my best to get out of the way of that, and it just game's evil. We finally got something going here. Get off me. Ya bastard. I think the Ares damage is also applying the fragility debuff. Because I didn't do an Athame on that guy and it still applied it. This is quite nice. I'm liking this. But what the hell hit me then? Does anyone know what hit me then? I have literally no idea. There must have been a tear that I didn't see, but... Or a feather or something. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that was so stupid of me. Lovely. I run a better place now, but our health is not. I'm so not a fan of how this is going. Where'd that bomb go? Good, good. Some spiders about. Okay, you're gonna need to die, my good friend. You are taking far too long. I managed to kill one of your segments here. I didn't even know that was a thing that I could do. Oh, I walked into the fire. Okay, a lot of these enemies are walking into these fires, which is rather nice. I remember I've got shielded tears as well. I can't be forgetting that. I can use that to defend myself somewhat. Yeah, if you spawn things, you're so fucked. Ooh, where'd, where'd that little mini Isaac come from? Did I pick up one of those hearts? I think I did. Thank you. Uh, Chubb is apparently still there. Just a segment of him that still lives. I don't know what happened, but he's, uh, he's still kicking it. It seems really hard to, like, do full contact damage. You've got to hit him in a very particular way, otherwise it doesn't work. Sometimes it just does absolutely insane damage. Other times it does absolutely nothing. 
There you go, like then it did loads of damage. Oh man, the amount of health we've lost in here so far is bordering on insanity. But like hit him dead on. Farting baby doesn't really do much for us here. Right, where's the escape? Wait, wait, what? Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Why is there no door? <laughs> Ow! Why is there no door? Um. What do I want? Is it Dad's keyword that would help? Yes, there you go, okay. Cool. Fixed it. That's why you gotta have console command on, baby. Excel floor here. I'm not enthused by this with our current HP, but we'll see how it goes. Sell at heart's kind of nice there. Really, the last the last enemy is the one to a theme. Room clearing should be a lot easier with a theme in general now, we'll see. Okay, I'm very glad that I managed to just make my way straight towards the boss here. That's rather lovely. I don't know if these guys are getting hurt by my mishap. Ooh, that's an attack that I don't think I've seen you guys do before. Oh, your brother's dead. What are you going to do? You going to die? You are going to die. So yeah, getting the damage on this guy is going to be tough. Really? You had to release your little minion here? More little minions. She's doing some attacks that I ain't ever seen before. Okay. We're almost there. There you go. That's that's a good chunk of damage there. Lovely. We're going down. I ain't no way I'm doing hush right now. I don't have the swing damage for Hush. I have the on contact damage, but the swing damage that I have is, is not great. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. Oh, but does my Ethereum block shots too that I just saw there? That's pretty interesting if it does. I wouldn't have expected that. Health is looking a bit better now, because we gain a heart every floor. Probably should go and destroy those other two poops. They can reward us with HP. Come on, bud. Nah, no HP from any of them, thank you. Oh, these are enemies I have to kill. Sometimes these are enemies you have to kill and sometimes they're not. It is confusing. Rotten Beggar. I don't really see what you could give me that would be good, but I mean, why not play you out and see? I mean, he gives you flies and stuff. That's good. Flies and spiders is useful. But like, item-wise, I've never really seen this guy pay out much. Okay, that's a, that's a good heart to get. Thank you. It takes forever to give you an item, this dude. Very rarely get items out of him. And it'll be like your heart or something, will it? Okay, do you know what? Burn hearts, stuff like this, nice. Yeah, look. Not bad. Not bad. That was worthwhile. Okay, no black hearts from any of those. Big boy himself. Oh, man. Never not get hit by this guy. That attack just fucks me up, man. 
Stop being invincible, you coward. At least we got a black heart back out of it. Kind of an interesting idea for a room there. Imagine if you had that trinket that makes those drop black hearts. That'd be a fucking god tier room. Pop this in here. Right, this is going to be the, where it gets tricky. I mean, luckily, he will block shots and knock them back, so that's not that big of an issue. Okay, that went that went well. Um, what, what the fuck? Uh, why, why did Necronomicon pop up there? Do you see that? Necronomicon pops up for a hot second. I don't, don't know why or where from. We don't have um, Dry Baby, and we don't have Necronomicon, so... Little confused by that. Right. That would be good. Damage and range. But the health cost is very high. If we lose a Thane, by the way, if we if we do our little trade to get down to the Delirium floor and we lose a Thane, oh boy, your boy is going to be sad. You watch it be like the last room we find as well. Right. Where you at, room? Where you at? Okay, good. Man, if, as soon as that triggers, it just kills everything. If, if only we had higher luck. If only we had higher luck. Annoying ass room. Really, it didn't kill them then. So many pills as well. What's with all the pills, game? Secret room here. Nah. Some pennies though for my trinket, but not like we need them. Look at that, like, knocking all the shots away. I love it. Okay. getting confusing. Where's the last guy? Oh, the, the, the room's over. Okay. There is no last guy. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that to hit me. Where the hell's this goddamn room? I'm going to all the dead ends I can. Whole point of this is going to dead ends. Should probably bomb these. Just in case we get a soul heart. That was a lucky penny in there, though. That does make a thing better. Farm lucky pennies, maybe. Good. Probably this room up here. Finally got a chest. Um, obviously not great for us. We'll at least get a heart out of it. Good. Take all the bombs I can get. Really? It's not this way either, game? What is going on with you right now? How is it not here? This is ludicrous. The amount of goddamn space I've covered. I told you it'd be goddamn last room we find. It always is. That did not at all go the way I wanted it to.
Yep, literally the last the last path we check. The last goddamn path we check. I knew it to be true, right? Just don't as long as you don't take a fame from us. I wish it told you what items it takes a little more clearly, right? Can we watch? Wait, what? Oh, I'd have to throw him into it. Okay, it took iron bar. And it took little chat, I think? No. Okay, it didn't take a theme. I don't care. I don't know what the second thing it took was, I'll be honest. But. There's a chance. Realistically, you could probably use the uh, the power of the items we gain from other bosses here, but knowing me, you know what's going to happen, don't you? <gasps> Soul of Lilith. Reaper Bum. Hey, Reaper Bum's fucking amazing. Especially on a floor like this. With all the souls. Burn fragments, burn hearts, cards. All sorts of shenanigans this guy can give us. Mum's heart. Oh, it's it's OG Mum's heart. There's so many eyes. I I forget how many eyes there is in the original Mum's heart. It's been so long. There you go. And we get a tears up um, and a mortal heart. It's pretty good. That it's pretty good. Good, that immortal heart's lovely to have. Blue baby, damn. Some hard bosses in here, man. Luckily, this guy does spawn things, so he's going to be killing himself off with a fame. The Hierophon, man. Game is gassing us up right now. Giving us what we need. Oh, I lost my immortal heart. Fuck's sake. That was not my intention. Well, that didn't work. How am I to dodge this bullshit? Come on now. Poppy car, can you give me the fucking box? You better give me a great trinket here. The flat damage dealt by bombs is actually kind of amazing. Planetarium disc could also be good too. Ah, oh God. Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. I like the way that, even though I'm not religious, that sentence can be said in this game and be kind of accurate. <laughs> This game's all, all about religion, so it works. Okay. So many souls for this little man. That was the worst use I've ever seen of a uh, lemon miss up there. And we get Sister Maggie, yay! Oh, we got conjoined out of that, which isn't actually that bad really for us. Sometimes conjoined is a kick in the nards, but I think in this case it's pretty good for us. Massively increases our uh, available range to shoot here. Ah, oh, really? There was a burn heart back there and I didn't goddamn take it. Immediately get hit by the foot as well. Why you gotta spawn the foot straight away, love? What the hell's this? What, what, what kind of boss is that? It's just an eye. I haven't fought just, a, just an eye.
Unfortunately, this guy's going to be pretty hard for us, because realistically, throwing damage is our main source of damage, and we have to collect this guy a lot. Without recall, this is definitely a hard boss. What the fuck kind of attack is that, my guy? And the foot's involved as well. And a theme isn't really going to trigger much at all here. It's going to be a rough one. I mean, we've done like 10% of our health already, maybe 15%. Yeah, trying to get a fan to actually do damage is going to be tough. What? Uh, pfft, what in the shit? Farting baby just farted that bomb away from him. Are you kidding? I'm using bombs here specifically because they got double damage right now. What's going on? What, 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 like, actually what's happening? Like, my bomb's exploding. Okay, bombs did a significant amount of damage there. Lovely. Some of these delirium bombs be a bit fucky. I mean, luckily, we do have, uh, what's it called? Oh, there you go. Some of the same damage, finally. Um, we do have lost contact to destroy shots, but it doesn't really fully... Oh, that spider. doesn't really fully solve the issue, to be honest. At least I can use it to, like, sort of clear a path for myself. Boom. Getting some more damage in there. Lovely. Card. Moon card. Technically, I could use moon card to get out of here if, um, things start going really wrong. What? What is this eye? Oh, for God's sake, man. What on earth was that bomb return there? What happened? Damn it. I'm trying to get bombs in there when I can, but it's super difficult. Really? It teleports away again? Fuck you, man. The fool is also useful, I guess. I'm kind of stuck at the side of the room right now. Picking up the goddamn cards game. Oh my lord. This is such a sketchy situation. I want to leave, but like... We're so close. Probably gonna die here. Yeah, fuck's sake, man. Look at his health. It's not even on the goddamn bar. Oh, how? There's so many mods. How has no one fixed this piece of shit yet? Like, oh my god. Oh, god damn. Just remove it from the fucking game at least. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.